everybody, welcome back. Uh, I've got some new things to share with you guys today. Um, really enjoyed making these. I've called them um, like a beeswax ephemera kit, um, but there's there's a lot going on, so I just want to get started and show you guys. I'm really happy. I've got five of these. They've been added to the shop, so I'm just going to take one. They're all the same inside. It's just the covers um, are slightly different, and this one's got Possibility Begins with Imagination, Encourage Your Hopes, Not Your Fears, Enjoy the Journey, Capture Life's Moments, and Live the Life You Imagined. Now, all of these are vintage uh, nature book pages that I've stitched to the, the cover of these, and um, I'll just take this one and show you. It's a vintage-looking newsprint um, paper bag, and I've just put some beeswax on it, melted it, so it's got a really nice feel, and it, it makes it a little bit more durable, but there again, it is paper, so, you know, these things are going to wear out in time, but um, really, really love how they've come out, and then this obviously is a Tim Holtz um, metal plate that I've stitched there. I've done some stitching around it. This has been back to some craft cardstock, so it's pretty sturdy. I gave it a bit more um, stability on that paper bag. So what I did with this is I stitched two paper bags again so that we inside we would end up having a pocket. And um, I'll just get started with this and I'll show you. There's so much in this. I'm so happy with how these came out. As I said, this formed a pocket by doing it this way and then I've come back in and added two more pockets here and I've filled it with um, really unique um, one-of-a-kind items. This is some of my tea bag art. I did tea. I tea bagged. Uh, sorry, tea dyed the tea bags because I'd gotten them. You know, they were just um, brand new tea bags, and these are about um, three. The tea bags are about three by four, but then with the added lace. Now this is vintage trim. I've recently purchased. This is. Um, I don't think this is vintage. It's old, but I wouldn't classify it as uh, vintage. It's got a, a little bit of a yellowing to it. And then I've done some stamping on some cotton muslin. And then this is a uh, piece of an old doily. And then I stitched a little button. Um, I've cut out the little butterflies, added those to the, the little strings from the tea bag. So what this because I've stitched this, this this is going to serve as one pocket. Um, if I had um, just glued it to it, you could have formed two pockets within a journal. But um, but this will you could glue this down, or you could just have it floating. It's it would purely be up to you. But I love that. I really enjoyed playing with those. Um, so every kit is the same. Um, it's handmade, so obviously, you know, there will be a little bit of variations, but um, all of them are going to say the same thing. They're going to include the same amount of ephemera. So we've got the tea bag art, got two um, flower playing cards. These are vintage. Stuck those in. Now, this um, was an idea I got from. Uh, Somerset Studio a while back, one of their magazines, somebody, you know, they had taken this. So this has been stamped on muslin, stitched to the glassine bag, and then this is a bit of collaging. This is all vintage papers um, that I've collaged to the cardstock, and then I did some machine stitching, so it's a little journal card. And everything in here is nature themed. Um, I'm hoping to do a set of these in just a vintage theme, but um, that's my plans, but I've got a couple journals before I'll, I'll be getting to that. So, um, so this is what I've got right now. Now these are some digital downloads, um, and then here I've done a. These are some little cards that I've made. I've got those with some eyelets, and then some of the Irish linen thread. And then this is just a little piece of notebook paper. And then here I've done um, this little uh, file folder window pocket. So this could be glued in your journal or you could just clip it in. And then I've done some stitching around that so you've got a journal card there. 
and then they've all got little sayings that will vary, you know. So I've got that in that pocket. Like I said, you got three of these cards. And then here I've done another, and this one says gratitude. Now they all say moments in gratitude, so that, that's for each of those. Um, but these might vary slightly on what I've, I've printed out. So, love these. I really um, have had a lot of fun doing the, the smaller little projects um, to get away from the journal making for a little bit of a break. Uh, I've got a couple of journals on the go, but but I just, it last, the last few days I've been spending on this. Now this is a cotton paper, handmade paper. So this, I've stamped that image there. And then in this little pocket, I've done just a tiny tag and then a little uh, die cut, leaf die cut there. So then inside, you've also got this trifold. And my thinking on this was you could either stitch this in to your journal along this if you wanted to, or you could just have it clipped in and it could be a floating uh, trifold pocket. The other thing with this, this could be a journal cover on its own. I created this so that everything could be deconstructed or, as I said, you could add uh, your own papers to this, and that would make a gorgeous journal on its own. So there's, it's more than what it appears to be. Um, here I've done a, a little paper clip. This has got some really old lace. And that's just clipped there. Um, inside this, you see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. And inside here, um, I've just added various um, tags and little journaling cards and a few die cuts. Um, this is a Tim Holtz. Lots of um, little stamped, hand stamped things I've added to it. Here is another of the Tim Holtz um, cutouts there. Again, you could glue this within your journal or just do as I've done and just have it tucked away here. And then that's just got some other little die cuts included. Or not die cuts, sorry, little uh, journaling tags. <laughs> eh, I don't know, it's one of those days. Here I've done another little tuck spot. And I've added the little um, Tim Holtz pins to the center of those. Okay, this pocket, you've got... This tag with a charm, a bee charm, some of the little um, fibers that I've got. Very nature themed. Um, this was some gardening cards I've come across uh, recently at one of the, I think this was at one of the flea markets I went to. There, I got a big stack of these, so I've included that in there as well. And then I've got another little Tim Holtz journaling card. This is some of the 49th and Market paper. It's uh, very much um, nature themed. And then here I've done a little mini notebook with um, tea dyed papers. So that's tucked in there. Here's another little stamped mason jar. I've got a little label here. Um, here I've included I've got two vintage um, I don't know if these are tea cards or cigarette cards. There's no cigarette branding on it, so I think they must have been the tea cards. But these are true vintage, and then this is one of the digitals that I've tucked in there. Love these. They're so sweet. And then this is some vintage um, tickets from the hmm, Zanesville, I guess that must be Ohio. I think they're train tickets, but those are vintage, uh, very old. I bought those off of an Etsy shop, so that I've included a strip of those in each one, and then um, another hand-stamped tag there. 
So like I said, this could be sewn into your journal or you could just have it clipped in as well. But um, there's over 35 pieces of ephemera in this and all of it just really coordinates nicely if you are doing a nature journal. I love these. I'm so pleased with how it's come out. It was a really fun project to do. And like I said, I've got five of them available now, so if you're interested, you can have a look at the link below. And I don't know, I probably won't be back for maybe a week or so, but I do have some things that are in the works, so stay tuned, guys. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys, um, you know, going ahead and joining my channel. Um, so thanks so much for the support. I hope if I um, am not back on, I hope everybody has a really great Christmas and new, a very happy new year. So take care, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.